If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> There's a lot of lightweight action. Yeah. That is. So there's going to be a lot to talk about come Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. There's going to be a lot to talk about because yeah. is, isn't it funny? 140 was the strongest. Like, everybody loved 140. And in a couple of weeks, it blew apart. Ryan yeah. Garcia, who, by the way, has never fought at 140. Nope. He's gone. Devin Haney left. Yeah. Gary Antoine Russell lost. Subra yeah. Matias lost. lost. Yep. Tiafimo Lopez fought and still wasn't that impressive. So yeah. the landscape changed at 140, but 135, man, they've got some some yeah. strength. Yeah, Vasily Lomachenko's a champ, Tank's a champ, Shakur's a champ, and then Denis Berichek who beat Emmanuel Navarrete, he's a champ, right? That's so, right. Yeah, man, yep. there's a lot of good fights, like you said. Now, I want to ask you too. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep you too long. I appreciate you being a uh, 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 gracious with your time. Um, Speaking of light weights and stuff like that, after this, after the fights this weekend, it's William Zapata, right? He's with Golden Boy. Floyd, Floyd Kid Austin Schofield's with Golden Boy. Um, top rank, of course, they have Lomachenko and some other fighters at 135. PBC, of course, has Frank the Ghost Martin and, and most notoriously Tank, uh, Javante Tank Davis at 135. Matchroom. The reason why I brought this up is because Eddie Hearn seems like he's the most, he's the biggest suitor. He's the most interested in Shakur, man. What do you think Shakur does? Because it, it, it's kind of, it, it, coincidentally, Matchroom, they probably have the weakest stable at 135 right now, you know, as far as not having the most most people, you know, um, co most contenders or champions. So what do you think Shakur does? But I personally think you should go with Eddie Hearn because I know Eddie Hearn's going to get you some fights. If he doesn't do anything else, he's going to get you some fights. He's going to put you in the ring. Well, that's the thing. You know, hopefully the landscape is changing where now it, it won't matter so much what network you're with or what promoter you're with now Turk, with Saudi Turkey, Arabia's see, in right? the game. So, so hopefully that's not going to matter anymore. Uh, Eddie Hearn gets people fights. Yeah. So, absolutely. I, I, you know, Shakur, I, he's he's he hasn't talked about it. He hasn't talked about where he's leaning. But he's he's a smart guy. He's got good people around him. Yeah. I just hope wherever he goes, he gets the fights, and he's not sitting on the shelf, and he's not oh, fighting. Man. You know, guys ranked ninth or tenth. You know, for the next two years, I hope that because he seems like he wants. The smoke he wants to All fight the, the top fighters yeah he he does yeah so uh whoever he signs with eddie hearn whoever i just hope that the fights happen yeah. you know and and i hope that it's less of whose side are you on like if if you're not with pbc you know you can't get these fights right. i hope that at, at some point it turns into a real sport and it's you you get the fights that make sense right. and that people want to see so that's At that's time that's what I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I just want. You you and I we're 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 fans. We want to see the best fighters fight each other, and that's exactly what fighters say they want. Yeah, they absolutely. all say the same thing, and I believe absolutely. them. But the business stops it from happening. Absolutely. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.